Alrighty, hey traders, John Hal here. Welcome to today's coaching video. I've got a lot of stuff that I want to cover with you, uh, through with you today. Today I want to talk about obviously what's happening with the stock market right now. There is also a couple of mining stocks that I'm watching right now, and I want to share with you that they're the big dogs. Sorry, the big uh, oh man, the big uh, stock market, uh, big mining stocks, uh, which is gold. Um, uh, sorry, the like things like Barrick Gold. NEM, um, stuff like that as well too. Also, um, the energy sector, I want to talk to you about a few stocks I'm looking for the energy sector because I believe the energy sector could be quite big as well too. What's happening with the actual stock market right now? What's going on with silver and gold? So we've got a bit of a deep TA coming for you this way. So let's get straight into today's analysis right now, guys. And let's get straight into what's happening. Let's start off with the good old stock market. And then I'm going to get on to all this other down home funky goodness. So the really big thing that I noticed, um, that I'm noticing about the actual stock market, is that the really, the, the really big thing I'm noticing is that we're seeing the Dow Jones being much, much, much weaker than the other markets. And I've always looked at the Dow Jones as probably, probably the top dog, right? Because it's the, it's the top thirty stocks, you know, um, you know, in, in America. So. Why the way that I see that the way that I see the Dow Jones is I always see the Dow Jones being more like a more like if the Dow Jones is starting to see a bit of weakness, then it's not going to be too long before the other markets start to see a bit of weakness, right? There's a bit of a divergence there, right? So because we've got the Dow Jones coming down, but if you look at things like the Nasdaq, right? The Nasdaq is sort of not really doing much, right? We're just sort of just. We came down, we came back up, and then we're just sort of hovering around through here. So I don't believe that, especially what we're seeing right now in the Dow Jones, I believe the Dow Jones is creating the divergence, and I believe the NASDAQ and the S&P are going to start to catch up to it, meaning we're probably likely to continue seeing some more downside um, out of the markets from there. So the really big key I'm watching for on the NASDAQ itself um, is whether this is going to be some sort of a false breakout pattern right here, right? So this is that, that's that whole level through there. You can look at it here, it came all the way down to 16,500. So it, it bounced off that level though, right? It bounced off it. Now, here's the thing. The really big key for me is that if, it, if we've got a bounce here, what comes next, right? What comes next? Because if it, if it does continue to hold, then we may just be going through a holding pattern before another big move. I know it sounds crazy, right? That sounds crazy. Um, but the thing is, is that once we start, if we do start to get a close below the 16,500, then that's probably telling me now we're getting ready for more of a pullback um, um, out of the actual markets from here, right? But right now the market's really, really, really strong. Um, but again, seeing that divergence happening with the Dow Jones, and then now we can see what's happening. And now I believe the same for the um, NASDAQ. And then if we go to the S&P 500, the same thing for the S&P 500 as well too, right? We actually had a move up, look at this comp very, 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 very sort of big reversal candlestick pattern here, right? Big reversal candlestick pattern there. Um, and you can see it's right at that level now of support as well too. So we're, we're actually at a bit of a, we're actually at a bit of a do or die situation here. Cause look at this here, if I bring up, let, let me remove everything up the screen. If, if I bring up my trend lines, look at this here, look where we are at. This support level through here, and then this level all through here. What actually, this actually could be, you know what this could be? And it's more like a, it's more like a reversal type of, type of triangle pattern, right? So this is what this could be. Um, and again, I'm looking at what the market, what it could be. Um, if we get something like this, 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 and then we get something like that going on, you know what that means, right? That means that this whole thing here that was setting up, this whole thing here is setting up. If we do get something like that, that's gonna break below two major trend lines in the markets. There's obviously one through here, and then this one through here, right? So we're gonna, pro we're gonna be breaking below two support levels through there. So the big thing for me is that I'm watching to see what actually happens here, and that's the reason why um, big picture, and then obviously if we look, start to look at the small picture from here, which is the last three months of data to data, we can see this through here. So that's what I'll be watching for 
to see what happens on the S&P. Now, that's what I'm seeing there, right? So the Dow Jones has come, already come back down. We have already started to see um, possibly a bit of weakness coming into the NASDAQ and the Dow Jones, but just because we really haven't done much for a few weeks. That may be setting up for a bit of a topping pattern, so that the topping out before it actually catches up to the Dow Jones. But here's the thing. Looking at the outlier is this is the Russell. I'm really, really like, even though, because remember guys, we can't, um, the Russell didn't make a big move. If you look at the Russell, right? The Russell didn't really make a big move and it hasn't made a big move for, for, uh, for a long time. It didn't actually make the move like the Dow did, like the S&P and the NASDAQ did, right? So it didn't actually make that move, did it? So the thing for me is that what I'm looking at here is I'm looking at to see this, the Russell could be the one that actually starts to make a move and then and the other indices don't, right? S&P, NASDAQ, Dow, stuff like that, right? Or the Dow has actually already started to come back down, all right? And so um, maybe just maybe the Russell is going to start to have a big move up while the other indices come back down. Because remember, we the reason why the things are top heavy Right. The reason why things are top heavy in the markets right now um, is because we're looking is because guess what? We've already made very big moves, right? Look at this here. Look at all this up move. So we've already made this huge up move from here. It's now getting time for what? For, for a bit of a resting phase. That's the S&P. Why is the Dow Jones? Why is the Dow Jones? Same thing, right? Because I guess, because of what? We had this very big up move already, so now we're possibly getting this what? This topping, this, wrong one, John. This topping out pattern here, right? So, see what I'm saying here, right? So, so right now in the back, but the way that I'm thinking about the markets right now is, as a whole anyway, as a whole, remember guys, whenever, I'm, what I'm doing right now is just general technical analysis um, from that there. Um, if you'd like to learn my actual trading system and how I actually trade the markets, then I'm running a webinar today, guys, where I'm going to walk you through the exact system that I use to look for good entry points. Um, and all I say is this, guys, once you learn my actual trading system, right, once you learn my trading system, and once you learn what an A quality trade looks like, when you see an A quality trade in the markets, it's very difficult for that thing, for that trade to actually have a losing trade, right? Now, they don't come around that often, but if you'd like to learn an incredible, powerful setup, so when it does come around, you're like, this has a like over a 95% success rate of generating at least some profit out of that, and how I scan the markets and, and so on and so forth, then that first thing in the description there, guys, you can actually learn the actual trading system. If you want to learn my, I teach, I teach you for free, right? It's one of the best systems out there, but <laughs> it's, it's the best system out there, right? But you, then, then we just have to, if you can apply a bit of patience, and a bit of discipline, right? Which I have to, <laughs> moving forward into June, especially after May that I've just had, right? If I want June, July, August, guess what? If I apply a bit of discipline and patience to that system, oh, powerful, powerful, powerful. Anyway, first thing in the description there, guys, um, join my webinar today and I'll teach you all the details to that. And I promise you, when you start to identify A quality trades, it's like, oh, it's so, it's amazing. Anyway, so, see what I'm saying here? Back to the Dow Jones, right? Back to the Dow Jones. Is that see what I'm saying here? We're, we're looking at those level three. So the thing for me is that now I'm going to go back to the Russell 2000 and, and look at the Russell. Russell's done nothing here, right? We had a little up move from here. But to me, if I'm looking at the Russell, I'm looking at the Russell from a couple of different levels through here. So let me bring up this weekly chart here. And firstly, we're at this major level of resistance through here, which is quite powerful, right? Which is, as you can see, like if we start to break up above 210, we could be getting ready for a really, at least a nice move back up. We could be getting ready for, for a 15% move up really quickly. Let me bring this down to here for you. There you go. John, what is it? IWM, right? IWM, this is the Russell. Um, IWM. So we can see that through there. So that's the first thing. And But the thing I also do see is like, that's the high point up there. So if we do break here, look at this, look at this here. We actually had an up move and a down move from here, right? We had a little bit of support resistance through there. So if we can get something like this going on soon, 
there may be something going on there, guys, right? Maybe. So see what I'm saying here, right? Like w w the way we use our TA, use our TA, it's a very, one of the biggest mistakes that we can make, right? Is say, oh, the, the entire stock market is this. No, right? Why? Because if I brought up a watch list of stocks I'm looking at right now, I've got really good bullish setups waiting for my entry candle in the markets. And right now I have a bunch of stocks that are bearish setups waiting for my entry candle, which is for the downside, right? So never say the, the whole market is this, because then if we have a bias, right? We have we know that. If we, oh, the S&P 500, the, my bias is this, so therefore I'm looking for this. The S&P 500 is going to go down, so I'm looking for bearish trades. Or it's, it's like, um, that's not for me. So looking at, looking at the Russell, what do we see here? We see what? we see this level through here. So we can see we're starting to build a bit of a base here and we start to really, we're starting to trend, right? And what is that trend analysis? The thing for me is I use the 24 moving average on my weekly charts and check this out. This is where it gets really, 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 really awesome. I love this. This is what I love about the 24, right? Whenever the markets, whenever the market go, whenever the 24 is flat, see all through here, see how it's all it's just flat, right? What's that mean? No trend, there's no momentum, right? So back away, back the truck away, right? <laughs> so don't touch it, right? Because that thing, that's the thing, the thing for me is I'm, the best thing, that the best is to have, the best trades I've found is to have some form of, of momentum behind that. And how I utilize that is by looking at the moving averages, right? And as you can see here, look at this here. Let me actually go back in time for a little bit. Let me show you this here. So, flat, right, flat moving average, and then look what happened. And then we started to do what? Then we started to go down strong, and then look at this here, then we started to what? Down, strong down. So see, as you can see, look at this here, when the market, when this moving average was coming down strong through here, this is the best time to be looking for short trades, right? Right here, who knows? What's happening right now? Ah, you see how, see see the momentum and what I call my trend indicator, which is more like just the 24 moving average. The overall trend is now starting to what? It's now starting to build momentum, right? But if you took a trade through here, you'd be like, uh, there's actually no trend and no momentum, right? Because remember, trend is all about the markets and the, and the momentum is all about the moving average. So if the market is doing this, which it was, Who's in control, the buyers or sellers, right? This is buyers in control, right? Uptrend, sellers in control, downtrend, right? So, but so if that, if, if this is the case, buyers, sellers, who's in control through here? Nobody, right? It's like who, like nobody, no one's in control. Now look what's happening. We're now doing what? Higher, high, higher, low, higher, high, Higher, low. Ah, so we're starting to trend, right? We're start. So the, you know, the whole analogy: the trend is your friend until the end. Well, if there's no trend, there's no friend. So leave him alone, right? Doesn't matter how much you try to be a friend of his. He said, "I'm no one's friend right now. Leave me alone," <laughs> right? But ah, the Russell, the Russell could start to say, "You know what? You know what? It's been two years since we've actually caught up. We should, we should catch up now. Why don't we catch up? What do you want? Smoothies, coffee, juice?" Or a gym workout, or maybe a, maybe all maybe, maybe all leave up, right? Now we and now look what's happening, right? Now we're starting to what? We're starting to trend to the upside. What does that mean? We're actually starting to develop some form of a trend, just like here. No trend, and then we had a nice downward trend. No trend. Now we're actually starting to develop some form of an upward trend, which is quite powerful, right? So that's the whole thing about the Russell is the Russell is that, that bit of outlier, 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 right? Is the outlier. And the, so the thing that I'm looking for with the with the Russell is indeed, we're getting a nice little pullback here. That's that level all through there, I would say. So that's support level through there. That's support level through there. And then we have this all this resistance level through here. So maybe just maybe right and if I bring on all my moving averages and stuff I can see all through here maybe just maybe we're getting ready for a big breakout here because if we do get a big breakout guys it, it could be quite a big move right it could be quite a big move so that's where like it's like as you can see look at this here Dow Jones S&P NASDAQ 
because I've already made big moves, it's like, oh, no, nah, leave them alone, all right? Russell, no, no, not, 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 not so much on the Russell there, right? And when it comes to the actual market itself, there's actually a lot of nice, good, amazing things that's happening, right? So for example, like the, where's my, where is my, oh, where is my, where is my, there you go, where is my, um, I'm looking for, it's right in front of my face. You know, sometimes, is it, is it, is it XHB? No, XLB. XLB. I'm pretty sure it was. You know, sometimes when you're looking for something, you're like, I can't see it. And it's right there. I, I, I swear it is. Uh, let's have a look at this here. XLB. Yeah, oh, there it is. It's there. All right. So as you can see, right? Now, why am I looking? So for example, XLB. Why am I focusing this one here? So this is the daily charts. This is what this is what trade is. The power of the weekly chart is so powerful, right? Because look at this weekly chart. What's happening with the weekly chart? Ah, remember I said before about the trend indicator, my my magical twenty four. What is it? Aha! What is this? We have a flat. Aha! Uh -huh. What's happening now? What's been happening this last this entire year, this last six months, we're now developing what? A strong trending moving average. What does that mean? Ah, after all this time, we're now just starting to trend. Oh, ho, ho. Would you rather be getting in at the start of the trend or after it's all made, made a big move like the S&P 500? You see what I'm saying there, right? It's like when things start to develop some form of a trend after doing nothing for a while, that's when big. That's when you can potentially jump on big moves, right? Um, and that's where that's when you know. Again, if you look at this moving average from here, if I go to say, for example, and again, I bring up my gold trade, right? Look at the look. Look at the moving average. See the moving average. What was the moving average doing? It went what? It went flat, and then look 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 what happened through here. We started to what trend, and then we know what happened, right? We we know what happened. That we had the. We had that move through there, right? So that's the XLB. So that, uh, and that not just the XLB, there's things like, even like XLE, which I know you're in here, right? I know you're in this watch list here. There you go, XLE. Actually, you know what? Let's do this here. Let's go back to XLB. And let this, let me put this in my <laughs> ETF so I don't actually miss it. So I don't actually, there you go. XL, XLB, there you go. These are, cause I have, I have a bunch of, sort of ETFs that I focus and I watch for. So I think ET ETFs are amazing guys, I'll tell you, especially some of the big stocks that like you can get filled, if you start to trade big, like large amounts of money, um, and you start to trade, you know, if you wanna do like a $100,000 position or something like that, some, something much bigger, um, then even using options, you can get filled on those really, really easy. Um, you know, but if that's what that's the hard thing about trading options that I've found is that once you start to get even even into like a twenty or fifty thousand dollar position, um, like I do, it's like you know sometimes it's like you're getting partial fills and stuff like that. So it's one of the reasons why I loved uh, I love trading gold because you can get in and get out with the, with the options through there. Anyway, so if I show you this that that that's through there, right? But going back to what was that? Going back to the XLE. This is the same thing. So this is looking at the entire. This is looking at the stock market, and, and then I'm going to get to some of the some of the actual mining stuff as well too, right? Such so as silver and gold. So we see this thing through. Look, we see XLE. Now, why am I focusing on XLE? Same, 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 right? What, what's the same, same? Ah, oh, the same, same is what? Look at this here. We really haven't been. See the moving average. See what the moving average through there. We we're just going up and down and up. It's pretty much flat, right? It was, it was, it was up and down, but it was flat. What's happening right now? What's, what's going on right now? What's happening here? We're starting to what? Ah, oh, we're starting to now trend after really just. It's, it's what's called. It's what's called a flat. It's flat, right? This is this is strong up. This is strong down. And if the market see out, see out, the overall moving average is flat. So now we're doing what? Ooh, now we're starting to trend up, right? So the so the stocks I'm watching for, on top of XLE, right? Now again, traders, for me personally, um, I have my setup that I'm looking for. I say, for example, the energy sector, or like XLE and some of the other stocks, some, some stocks I'll show you in just a minute, right? But remember traders, it's so, 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 so important to understand. With the way that I actually trade the market 
is I have my setup, which is like XLE is setting up, all right? And um, and then I have my entry candle, right? I don't just go, oh, I'm gonna get into XLE today. That's not for me. Maybe for you guys, but not, not, not for me, right? I, I need to see some sort of confirmation candle there. But some of the big stocks are like XOM. So XOM could be one of those ones, could be one of those ones. There, there you go, one of those ones, there you go. Why? Well, if it's flat all through here, what's starting to happen now? See that, see, see that moving average all through there now? So if we do get something like that and the move, and we do get something like this for another, another few weeks, maybe to a month, and we get the moving average really starting to pick arc up through there, and we get something like that, Oh, ho, ho, ho! Say it with me. Strong trend, because the trend is your friend. And right now, there was no trend, but now we're starting Now we're starting to develop some form of a trend, right? See it? See what I'm saying here, guys? It's like, this is the same analysis applied to all different types of markets. Um, so, X, and, uh, XOM, even things like, I'm pretty sure, VLO. VLO is different. Not really different, right? If I look at the weekly chart, look at this moving average, right? I've, I've just drawn some some trend lines here that through there that this major this is a major level of support or resistance through here but look at the moving average right so all through here we really didn't do much did we look what's happening with the moving average now what we're just starting to really trend up right so this is not a classic sort of trade that I look for but this is one of the stocks I'm actually watching um, because it could be once again it could be all this major resistance, if it comes back down through here, we could be getting ready for a really big bounce from here. So this is something I'm actually looking for as well too, but it's not a classic, what I call an L-shaped type of a pattern. Um, I, I like to trade what's called L-shaped type of patterns, guys, um, where the market does this, where the market goes up and then it just goes sideways like that, or it goes down and it goes sideways like that with the moving average and all that sort of stuff on there. So that's what I'm seeing through there, guys. Uh, there's a couple of different stocks I'm focusing on right now when it comes to the energy sector, because uh, I believe the energy sector could be quite big. There's probably there's probably a bunch more stocks I have not seen right now, but I'm pro I'll probably see as I continue on. But I believe the energy sector itself, guys, uh, there's probably going to be a lot of good opportunities within that coming over the next couple of months, I believe. Not right now. I believe we may have another, maybe, a, maybe another few more weeks to a month of just not much going on. So say, for example, XLE say XLE here, um, the way that I'm seeing this level, the way that I'm seeing this here is that I do see that we're possibly going to do something like this here. So again, the moving average is coming up through there. And let's actually do this here, right? Let me do this here. So let me bring this up. So we could quite possibly not be getting ready for a move yet. So that's the moving average there. What I we, what we could quite possibly see is maybe maybe that that'll be that'll be in the next week. Maybe this will be next week. This week. This will be next. This will be that week. You know what I'm saying? So we develop this overall sort of sideways, and then we may do, may do something like that. So not right now. Not right now. Um, just like gold and just like these other other trades that make really big moves, guys. They tend to take a good couple of months to set up. Okay. Um. So. And if you're patient for those, then they're the ones that can do multiple 100% return and you know stuff like that, right? So maybe not yet, maybe not right now. It could be, it could be. We could we could get a nice good breakout and, and a run now, run right now. But ah, uh, just there, they they are they are the things that I'm watching for right now, guys. Let's go look at the actual gold and silver market from here. So looking at the gold market right now, the gold market overall, guys. I do see we're probably, this is really topping out a lot through here, like really topping out a lot all through here, as you can see. Um, we're not, we've been, we've been struggling ever since this breakout to the upside. So I do see we're possibly gonna continue this sideways movement. And we may even just do this guys until we get what? Until we get close to the 20 moving average. So, um, oh, market's open now, there you go. So we may, this may continue up through here. Like if the if, if this does continue up like that, then we may have something like this going on before we get ready for another move to the upside. So I don't see too much of a movement um, out of the gold market um, and possibly just a lot of volatility up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. 
um, until we possibly get in. So I believe, guys, over the next over the next month, patience is required. Who am I telling that to? This guy. <laughs> For you guys that have watched my last few videos, you know why. If you haven't, my name's John Howe. I had an incredible January, February, March, and April. And then May, I had two weeks where I dropped my standards, I dropped my discipline, and everything went out the window. But I'm really happy that that happened um, because I know I'm gonna have an incredible year because the work I've done now over the, over, the, over the last the last couple of days I've done to get myself, get my shit sorted, get myself back in, on track, and it's going to be an incredible, an incredible finish at the end of the year. I've had, I've had such an amazing, amazing, amazing four months. Um, and again, like I'm doing all this live with my with my coaching clients, guys. So every single day, I'm with my coaching clients, showing them what I'm doing, and also helping them and coaching them. And 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 all see what I'm doing here, guys. This is just a fraction of what I do every single day. If you are interested in joining that group and joining me every day to see what I'm to see what I'm doing. And also to learn my training system, get my scans, and for me to be able to coach you every single day, then I've got two spots left open for this last opening for the year. Um, so if you'd like to get that access to that, guys, I've got two spots left open. This is the last time I'm opening it this year. That's second link in the description there, guys. Go click on that. Go fill out the application form. Once you fill out the application form, I personally will be speaking to you on the phone. So I'll give you a call. Say, hey, what's up? Right? And then what happened is I, then after you fill out the application form, second link in the description, I will then instantly give you access to a training that goes for an hour, walking you through all the details of exactly how I trade the markets and so on and so forth. <clears throat> so um, again, guys, I've only got two spots left open for this last one here. So if you want to get access to that, guys, if you, if you we, even if you just want more information about it, go fill out the application form because it's the first come first serve basis for this last spot especially if you want to be with me every single day and to see there's amazing trades because again guys every trade january february march april had an amazing april bit of a flat moment for for may and now guess what now i'm going through a bit of a higher low and now i'm going to be having an incredible rest of the year because now i'm back on track again so if you want to join me second link in the description there guys um i promise you i will sit you straight anyway so seeing that through there, and now seeing a lot of the actual the, the mining sector, right? If I go back to should I say go back into looking at even the silver market, the silver market has been really doing what? Really not much going on, right? With the silver market, we can really see that um, that we're just going sideways through here. So I don't expect too much to happen. Same for gold. I expect just a sideways movement from here, uh, from that there. But just looking at so, some of the big mining stocks I'm watching for, guys. Like for example, Barrick Gold. Barrick Gold, look at this here. So if I squeeze my charts up a bit more, if we do get, if we, this is a whole resistance level up through here, right? So that's that, that's that whole resistance all through there. I can definitely see if we do get a bit of a break up and out through here, then it looks like we could be, it looks like we could get a nice move back up to around about that 20 level, maybe a bit more. But the big thing about Barrick Gold guys, is as you can see, this is a long-term level through here. If we can start to really break up above the 20 into the 22 level, then I believe that this whole movement from here could be the start of something really, really, really big from there. Uh, looking at NEM as well too. So an NEM would be up the last off the rank for today. And if I show you this level here, same for NEM, you can see that we're just really going sort of sideways from here, right? up and then sideways. If we do hold here for a bit more and break up through there, then we can possibly see maybe even a move back up towards maybe, just just look, just look at that level there, the, the NEM may be getting ready for, let me show you the 52. Yeah, so if we can get a bit more sideways movement and then a break up, we could be seeing a nice move back up towards around the 54 level from there. So there we go traders, hope this helped you out. Have an amazing day guys, and I'll see you in the next video.